morning class. Today we'll be using the microscopes to help us understand a question. Why is the yellow spotted salamanders eggs green? Does anyone have an idea of why a yellow spotted salamander's egg is green? No. Does anyone in the class know the definition of symbiosis? Is anyone? Is it a relationship between two living organisms? Absolutely. It's two organisms living within extreme proximity, and today we'll be talking about the mutually beneficial symbiotic relationship between Angistoma maculum and Ophelia angistomatis. What are they? Yellow spotted salamander and green algae. Okay class, take a look at the microscopes. The microscopes are set up. Let's take a look at what's going on inside the samples. A normal egg sac contains 50 to 100 eggs. Within the masses, each individual embryo is protected by an egg capsule and a fetaline membrane and a gelatinous envelope. Can anyone tell me what the benefit of the algae endosymbiotically joining with the egg mass? Because the algae can thrive off of the eggs? Yes. The embryos excrete nitrogenous wastes and CO2 throughout their development that the algae will use to grow and spread through the perivitine space. So what benefit does this give the embryos? Maybe the embryo needs more oxygen to develop more efficiently. Correct. The density of the sac is high, therefore the diffusion of oxygen to the embryos is made difficult, giving the algae an important role because it utilizes CO2 from the embryo to fully synthesize oxygen that the embryos benefit from immensely. So in conclusion, with the algae growing to help from the CO2 and nitrogenous wastes, and at the same time undergo photosynthesis producing oxygen for the developing embryo, we have a perfectly mutual beneficial symbiotic relationship. Alright students, it's time for a pop quiz.